All right, well, guess what? We figured out how to fix our furnace. I wanted to post this video to show you an easy way to save a ton of money. All right, um, so first thing is, most of the time, if you hear a humming noise, okay, it's like, mm, like it won't start, you won't feel any air coming out because the fan's not kicking on. This is your fan, a squirrel cage, I think they call it, okay? Um, so this little thing right here, you'll see it on your furnace. This is a capacitor, and I bought a new one off Amazon for $13. Um, they do have them at Home Depot and stuff, but usually not in stock, the right one that you need. Uh, Lowe's, all the different improve, uh, home improvement stores have them. But here's my old one, okay? Here's how to read it. On here, you'll see a 40 UF, yours might say. Okay, as I was saying, here is the old capacitor, okay? It's a HVAC fan capacitor. You can Google it, search on Amazon. This is a 40 UF. Um, the plus minus 5%, I don't think is important for my research. The two things that are important are the, the UF and the volt, voltage, right? VAC. This is 370. This one actually can go up to like 450. Um, so you might see some on Amazon or wherever, like 370 to 450 or something. That's okay. The voltage can be higher than the minimum, which is right here, 370 in mine, on mine in this case. The 40 UF though has to match as far as I understand. So I did, I bought one $13 on Amazon. I had it shipped next day, but I want to also tell you, um, by the way, they just, they're very universal. Uh, most of them are you know, you just pop these off, take this nut off. You can take this little canister off. It's real easy. You may want to discharge. Just make sure you may want to touch those together with like, um, you know, screwdriver or something. But the cool thing is uh, my uncle works at HVAC company and he told me, he's like, well, the way you can test it, of course, I didn't have a volt reader meter, but you, I took this off Um and well, sorry, I left it on and I actually, it's very dangerous, but here's the squirrel cage in here, right? Here's the fan that turns. If you actually spin that, it would not kick on for me. So it would, it would, I would turn the air conditioning on. Um, you wait about two minutes before and you have to make sure you push your safety button right here. I have some tape on here right now. Um, but when the cover's not on, it's a safety feature. So make sure you push that down. Lights are blinking. That means it's just waiting for the AC, um, once it kicks on, <clears throat> what you can do is with your capacitor that's bad, right? You can actually still get the air conditioner to work because this thing seems to like kick off the fan. So what I was able to do is spin the fan around the two minute mark very carefully, right? It's, I'm not responsible if you hurt yourself. I use this little plastic gun just in case. And I just gave it a little spin. It'll spin for about five, 10 seconds. Um, and I did that until it would kick on. Um, you can do it when you hear the humming, it's just a little more dangerous, but it was an easy way. The fan then actually would start, it would speed up and, um, the, the capacitor seems to be what kicks it off. So any, it, it worked cause I didn't have the part for actually Amazon delayed it. So it was nice. I got to sleep in the air conditioning. Um, although it does shut off after a while, even when I left it on fan only on the uh, thermostat, it still would shut off. But at least it cooled the house down. It ran for a, like five hours to cool the house off. It was 93 in here in Texas. So just wanted to give you guys some tips. Super fast and easy to replace that capacitor. At least try it. Send it back if that doesn't fix it uh, before you you know spend several hundred dollars calling uh, an HVAC person out here. So anyway, hope this uh, helps you. Good luck.